How's everybody doing today? It's Bandit Chimera here for Bandit Chimera's Corner, and we are back with an RPG day, which means it is Bloodborne. Okay, now, um, uh, remember how last we left off I said I was gonna go back and kill Vicar Amelia? I decided to try to fight her by myself, and then I accidentally killed her on the first try. Also, tried a ritual chalice, went to the first, first ritual, um, did like all three layers, killed all the bosses. It was kind of cool. Um, I did it off camera though because I don't know if I'm going to do the chalices on camera, but it was pretty nifty, you know? Um, and then I went back to the healing workshop, and I went back to the healing workshop because, or the, the chapel ward or the healing ward or whatever. Um, because there were things that, or there was, um, something that I found out that you can actually get to the real world version of the Nightmare Dream. Um, and let's see, is, it's not even on here, so is it on here? I'm like, how about here? Yeah, see, the abandoned old workshop. And the abandoned old workshop basically looks exactly like this workshop. Or, or just like the dream, including the puppet, but she's obviously not moving around and doing stuff. Um, but yeah, no, so I found that, and I found a bunch of stuff. I found some outfits, um, and I found, very importantly, it's a key item for later on. Uh, let's see, it is, well, not the old hundred bone, but it's the one-third of umbilical cord. Um, you need three of these, one of them you get from a boss fight, so I need to just get one more of them, um, to actually get what is called the true ending. Uh, and then I found the old hunter bone, which actually gives you quickening speed, but it uses five bullets at a time to do the quickening speed. Uh, but we're actually going to go to the the um, swamps, or not the swamps, the uh, the forest today, the forbidden forest. Uh, ding -dong. Hello, friend. Salutations. Good to see you safe. Now, let's think... I am safe. Business. You too. Just tell me what piques your interest. Uh, let's talk about the church. The healing church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, okay. and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Yeah, okay, all right. How about Brigginworth? It's an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Brigginworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church really? and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, Fantastic. everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But to today, Brighamworth. the college lies deep within a mm. tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only... All right, so there's a school there. Passage through the gate. How about the vile bloods? There's something I want to tell you. A bit of wisdom from the eminent master, Lagarius. Once, a scholar betrayed ah, his limits at Bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. 
the moon. Alright, so the things that I've already fought weren't on Pier and weren't fiendish. My master's wishes, I search for the path to Kanehurst Castle. Alright, well, you have been a fountain of knowledge, sir, so thank you. It has been a pleasure. So I don't know what the heck I did to him or who peed in his cornflakes today, but. Apparently somebody did. And he was not having any of that. He didn't start the fire. Oh, hi, buddy. Whoa! He was still alive. Still alive. Still alive. Oh, ooh, he was guarding some treasures. Gemstones and more Madman's knowledge. I'm gonna eat lots of Madman's knowledge. Eat, eat, eat. Pretty soon I'll be up to 40, and then I'll see really crazy things. More, oh, bud, you, you, you're coming with me? Sweet, come on, bud. Let's go. Yeah, oh, bye, bud. Miss you. I'll call you. Light the lamp. Ever loving lump. I love you, lump. Does not open from this side. What side does it? Oh, high bird. You were all like, oh, I'm a bird, come, I'm a bird. And then I was like, yeah, and you would do. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, see, that's what I get for trying to explore. See, I, you always gotta kill those things because they always drop good stuff. Always drop good stuff. This time, twin bloodstone shards, which are an essential in my everyday living right now. What is. Why is this red? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Whoa! Shizen, that means I can't go back up. Alright, well... That was that. That's a thing. Like this place is massive. Just thought I'd share that. That it just like I mean, it seems like I've been going for like forever here. Ah, somebody to talk to. Oh, a hunter of beasts, are you? 
Yes, I am. You know not the value you possess. I possess lots of values. Four ninety nine, five ninety nine, three ninety nine. The night are many, and the beasts more than I can count. A very, not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. A most frightful fate. Oh my! Mm, you seem cheery. I'm. Oh, kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. The tonsils stone? Thanks, I think. And death offers solace. Thank you for your tonsils. Always wanted tonsils. I mean, without tonsils, I'm nothing. Oops. Tonsils. I I'd be an orthodontist. Just. Totally without tonsils. Okay, mushrooms. This place is massive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's poisonous. He can traverse it, but I definitely cannot. Oh, hi. Uh, why don't you come into my lair? Climbing up the ladder, the ladder, the ladder. Here, a pebble. Oh, ooh, church clothes. Hmm, let's see. I can look like an assassin. Ooh, but my defense goes down. Poison resistance goes up. Ah, that's why. I am now Ezio Auditore della Farencia. I work for the church, uh, but the church of Assassin's Creed. Oh, that's me, and uh, I, I freaked out for a second there. I thought my sword was poking out of the, uh, the pokey bits. And it was poking out of the pokey bits, but... Whoa, what the shit was that? could have went very very poorly and you know what with that we're actually going to use a bold hunter's mark because we are so we have so many souls right now and as far as that goes then we're gonna come back and hopefully we can get to the boss of the woods man like Jesus 
the woods goes on forever and ever and ever. So I was actually kind of shocked that um, it takes that long. But um, we'll get there. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Bandit Shamira's Corner. And as always, love and peace!